Hey Gold Rush fans, episode 12 of Dave Turns Lost Mine. It's in the books. There's honestly a lot to talk about, so let's get started. Team Turn is 16 weeks into the season, and they have mined a total of 242 ounces of gold. Winter is getting closer each day, and the guys, they're running out of time. Dave and Lance, they head west to Stevensville to look at a potential new mine site. Remember, they did purchase the Glacier Creek mine, and Dave has his own money tied up in this. So the area that Dave and Lance are checking out actually has a pretty rich history of gold mining, where the old timers pulled out over $300 million worth of gold. And the big question is, did they leave anything left over? With Dave off site, the guys, they're a man down, and they have to keep the mine running. The guys, they're pretty versatile, and they're able to run different equipment if needed with being short. A new record for Team Turn was achieved with 300 buckets of pay dirt run through the wash plant in 10 hours. That's actually a pretty good job. So the equipment, it held up pretty well this episode. Only a blown hydraulic hose and a bearing did go out in the Eagle. Parts, you know, they're three days away minimal, so they scavenged off the roach to keep the Eagle running. The Eagle did run at 190 yards per hour, so this has been the fastest it's run all season. So more material should mean more gold, right? So let's talk about the gold now. The guys, you know, they're behind and they need to play catch up. The crew did set a goal of 40 ounces per week to hit their goal of 450 ounces. This week's haul, a disappointing 25.5 ounces of gold worth just over $45,000. So is Glacier Creek a bust or are they digging in the wrong spot? We'll have to wait and find out. All right, everybody. This has been a Gold Rush Minute. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. Click that small icon on the right to do so. Till the next time.